Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is the Anime Man, and welcome to Suzuka Uta Mirai no Neiro. This is a Kagami no Rin, that blonde girl, or blonde vocaloid in the middle there, visual novel. Now, I did the Hatsune Miku visual novel a while ago. I've left the playlist of that in the description below so you guys can check it out. And uh, yeah, there was a Din version. So I thought, hey, I love my Vocaloid, I love my Din, and I enjoyed the Hatsune Miku one, so it was only right to do the Kagami no Din version. Okay, so there's Suzuka Uta and Mirai no Neiro. So there's two games in one? I don't know, but this song is fucking chill as. But uh, yeah, let's get on with the game, shall we? I have no idea what this game is like, but uh, guessing it's good. We were born to sing. We were. But for whom? Ourselves. And to what end? Gladness? Admiration? Surely it was none of those things. Damn it, this is starting off like an inspirational YouTube video. We were born to sing. You can do it. Incline your ear just a little bit and listen. We are here, therefore we sing. But if this song should reach you, that would be a wonderful thing, would it not? It would be. I concur immensely. I want to be a prong so- <laughs> Did I just say, I want to be a prong? <laughs> Let's try that again. <clears throat> I fucked up from the first freaking sentence. Alright, I want to be a pro songwriter. There we go, that's much better. I'm not sure when I first heard... Fir, uh, I can't read today, Jesus Christ. I'm not sure when I first had that dream. I like music more than anything else, though I guess it's ordinary to like something that's always around. So, I want to live a life of music. I will do whatever it takes to achieve that end. Create and market a demo tape. Contribute to a leading music upload website. Like YouTube! Produce songs in dojin activities. Hey man, whatever floats your boat. That's what I've been doing, and recently my work seems to be getting some attention. That's good. I feel that it hadn't been a mistake to do this all by myself. I'm going to become a pro songwriter. That's one thing I'm not confused about. For that purpose, I continue to write songs. Doing it all by myself. Working on some songs, doing my part-time job, occasionally taking requests for jobs that come in. That is how I spend every day. My music is fairly popular, and I plan to be skillful in handling my contacts. So I don't have any particular complaint. I'm alright with living this way. And yet, and yet, is this really what I want to be doing? Even as I cling to that problem, I have no one to talk to about it. That's just the way it is. I always do things on my own. Hashtag forever alone. Being alone, being alone is alright with me. This way I don't have to worry about other people causing me trouble. I'm fine being by myself. Hey man. Ooh. Straight out of Compton, crazy motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Whew. Exhaling a little, I wipe my sweaty forehead. The sky is blue and cloudless, and the sun beats down on me mercilessly. And I'm completely unprepared for it. Already, summer is going so strong. It's hot out here, ridiculously hot. In order to handle the request, I'm being shut up inside my room here lately. Thanks to that, I've been told I'm out of touch with the seasons. I just want to buy what I need and get back. Naturally, I had a reason to be out today. One of my speaker cables broke, so I need to buy a new one. After that, I need to get some groceries. Ellipses. Thinking of that, I stop in front of the store. The street is packed full of people. From over here, over there, I hear a pleasant voice. Judging from the number of students I can see, is it summer vacation already? What am I paying attention to that for? Everyone is having fun talking with their friends, or sweethearts, or family members. But that's all it is, except for me, because I am hashtag forever alone. It doesn't mean anything to me, it's not something I need. Other people just cause you trouble. Being alone is alright. I'm fine being by myself, as I sadly wank off in my room every night. Hey man, people are like that. Yeah, I, I don't judge. I'm the same. La la! Hmm? Unexpectedly, I hear singing. I search for the source of the sound. Oh. Hey man, get there she is! I soon find the vocalist. A girl is standing out in front of one of the shops. She's the one doing the singing. No one looks oddly at her, even though she's singing out there on the street. Why am I reacting to this? Because you want to get in that. Smiling weakly to myself, I turn away. These days, a scene like this is not rare. Seeing a singing android? 
Never mind that, I came here to shop. The work is piling up and I can only do so much. I need to get back to making my songs. That's right, I don't have time to dawdle around. I turn to the store I came here for and start to walk over. This is heavy. I mutter as I hold the vinyl bag. Man the fuck up, protagonist. Maybe I bought too much as a result of not having gone shopping in some time. Well, whatever. Most of the items I bought are ready to eat foods. Anyway, once I start songwriting again, they'll be gone before I know it. While thinking that, I take out my latch key. Click. Hmm? As I go to unlock the door, the key turns without any resistance. My thoughts are interrupted for a moment. No, this is no time to stand still. Half praying, I turn the doorknob. Oh! The door opens easily. Now I see what's going on here. Just forget to- I just forgot to lock the door. <laughs> That's all it is, man. That's a- Oh! <laughs> Bruh. 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 What? I don't think you forgot to lock the door, man. I think this girl just randomly just decided to break into the house and just fucking sleep on the bed like, Hey, that looks like a comfy bed. I'm just gonna chill out here at- <laughs> He's just like, what? I'm staying calm and thinking about this carefully, considering the scene which spreads out before my eyes. Winya, winya. Coo, coo. The girl is sleeping in my bed. That is the conclusion my mind comes to after thinking about it calmly. No shit, Sherlock. Wait, what? What kind of joke is this? Why would I come home from shopping as a girl I've never seen before sleeping in my bed? Am I dreaming? Something this absurd can't occur in real life. I try pinching my cheeks as hard as I can. It hurts. Coo, coo. Oh, look at that yaiba. You know she's gonna be a fucking tsundere when she has a yaiba like that, man. The upshot is, this is actually happening. It really is a girl sleeping in my bed. Hmm, I see, so that's how it is, huh? What? How come? I yell out without thinking. How and why could something like this happen? Oh, I don't want to think about that now. Problem is, a girl I don't know is sleeping in my bed. And she's probably naked, which means I have a chance. Hey, you, wake up. Come on, wake up. As I call out to her, she replies with a slight sound. And that's all. <laughs> I just wanted to be snoring like fucking loud. Like a hog. Hey, I told you to wake up, didn't I? Just what are you doing in my bed? She shows no sign at all of waking up. Just the sound of her sleeping peacefully. <laughs> and the gargling of throat as she snores. Now look here, I've had enough of this. I'm not getting anywhere like this. I shake her as hard as I can. As if trying to avoid me, she turns over and faces the other way. As she does, the blanket covering her slides off. <laughs> I'm not sure how to think about this, guys. Because Miku... <laughs> Miku's a little bit more... developed. This is... This is... This might be borderline child porn. Ah, I can see the dislike bar already. All right, let's just keep going. What? I stare dumbfounded looking at this scene. Once again, my train of thought is derailed for a moment. The circumstances are totally absurd. What the heck is going on here? How come? How come she's naked? Hey, she's not naked. She's wearing panties, as you can see. I mutter with a sigh. Yes, this girl has the face of someone sleeping peacefully. Anyway, I'm not mistaken that there's a pair of panties under the bed quilt slash futon. What? What is it? But wait, right now I keep a calm face. Whether she's naked or not, I'm, I'll worry about that later. The main issue is that she snuck into my room and went to sleep in my bed. That is the number one problem here. So the first thing I have to do is wake her up and find out what's going on. Uh, but still, the fact that she's naked... So what? I'm waking her up! I say in order to rouse myself. Oh, there she is. And when she looks at me... Uh, you're so loud! She suddenly wakes up and gets out of bed. I wish I had a that was easy button. Oh god damn. <laughs> Put some fucking clothes on, dude. I swear to god. <sighs> I was sleeping so soundly too. The sleepy looking girl stretches and gives a big yawn. No matter how many times I look, I just see a pair of panties. Huh? Who are you anyway? She inclines her head in puzzlement. Puzzlement? Is that a word? And I calm myself down. This isn't a time to get excited. I should be asking you that. 
Who the heck are you? <laughs> well, there goes the sensor bar. Me? Look at this. Boom. She casually shows me her left arm, but she isn't trying to hide herself at all, so I can see a lot more than that. You see? Look right there. N no, well... She takes a step towards me. It may be small, but I can see the two bulges. Even though I know I shouldn't, my gaze gets fixated right there. <laughs> Gee whiz, I told you to look right. Oh, I see. Well, I don't think you'll find out anything by looking there. She must have noticed where I was looking because she grins at me mischievously. Look at that wry smile and the tiny little yayba that you can see. God damn it. No matter how I look at her, she's a kid, but what a cheeky one. Oh, come off it. Who would look at your flat chest anyway? I try my best to say it coolly. In reality, she hasn't matured yet. However much I'm inexperienced with girl, with gittles. <laughs> However much I'm experienced, unexperienced with gittles, I'll be fine once I calm down. Hee <laughs> hee. What's so funny? I didn't intend it to be funny. Because I never said anything about my chest. Ah. Hashtag wrecked. You're one of those people who doesn't know how to lie. That's so cute. Hey, just what are you saying about me? Hold on, I'm not going to let myself go along with her. Especially a suspicious person like this. N never mind about that. I asked you who you are. And I said, look right here, on my arm. Huh? I glanced at her left arm, being careful not to look anywhere else. I can clearly see the red numeral 02 written there. That, if I'm not mistaken, those numbers could only mean one thing. You're a vocaloid? Those numerals on her arm must be her so-called ID code. Which is needed because they resemble humans so much. Bingo! So you knew about that. A little. This is also something used by songwriters. If it has to do with music, naturally I've checked it out. As you say, I'm a vocaloid, a singing android. My name's Ning. Nice to meet you. So saying, she gives me a carefree grin. Frankly, her polite greeting doesn't mean she won't cause me trouble. So then, what was the vocaloid doing in my bed? Nin, call me Nin. I told you before, didn't I? Okay, Rin. What were you doing sleeping in my bed? More importantly, I'm hungry. What's to eat? Huh? I believe I misheard her just now. I thought I heard her say she was hungry. Uh, I'm not gonna ask you once again. I'm gonna ask you once again. What were you doing sleeping in my bed? Then let me say it once again. More importantly, I'm hungry. What's to eat? She says this with a very ordinary expression. It's hard to believe, but I guess I asked the wrong way. Is, is that what you call ordinary? She looks happy as fuck. Excuse me, can I say something for a moment? But what, what? I'm not picky, you know. Oh, but if you press me, I'll just... I'll have to say things that are yellow... Uh, wait, but if you press me, I'll have to say things that are yellow are my favourite. <laughs> okay. Saying yellow things are our favourite things to eat is kind of weird. Anyway, do androids really eat? I don't care what your favourite is. Huh? It's important, you know. After you go to the trouble of preparing food for me, you'd be bad if it was something I couldn't eat. No, like I said, this is not what I wanted to talk about. Ah! But what? Her unexpectedly loud voice gave me quite a start. But taking no notice of my reaction, Ning continues. Look at all the musical gear you have! And nothing but high-end stuff! You know that? Of course, as a vocaloid, I know all about it! Not only that, but these are the latest state-of-the-art models. Right, it certainly wouldn't be odd for her to know about these musical devices. I'd saved up for a long time to buy all the items here. Hmm, judging from this equipment... You're a musician, aren't you? You don't say. As Dean points this out, I nod meekly. <laughs> I just love that he feels like, no, I'm a builder. <laughs> Besides, there's no reason for me to deny it. Well, just a novice, really. I see. If that's the case, that's very fortunate. Don't you think? Hmm? What are you... For an instant, my heart jumps as I look at Dean's face. Despite that, it's the same childish girl that I was here before. Trying to cajole me a little, she looks at me with upturned eyes, and I end up with my heart pounding. I have a favour to ask you. A, a favour? Yes, I want you to make a song for me. She says it in an oddly sweet sounding voice as she draws close to me. Uh, she seems to be unaware that she's still naked. See, I've been looking for someone who'll write me songs for me. Songs just for me. So, will you write a song just for me? Wh why should I write a song for you? Because I'm a vocaloid. And I can't sing unless I have something to sing, right? So please... She moves her body even closer to mine. Simultaneously, a pleasant scent reaches my nose. I suppose this is a smell of Dean's hair? Besides, if you make a song for me, I'm sure something good will come from it. Besides, I'm state of the art too, she says with a smile. She certainly seems to have a lot of self-confidence. Oh, come on, it's alright, isn't it? 
I've always done everything alone up till now. I'm not going to change that now. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued by this. Come on, come on, make me a song. Because this kind of chance won't come again. Maybe this is a chance, as Dean says. But letting her have her way like this is not going to be very interesting, so... Are you really as good as you say you are? Huh? You say you're so great, so prove it. If you do, I'll, continue, I'll consider adding you to my collection of gear. I just came up out with what I thought was just a natural condition, but... My god, that escalated quickly. Hey, why are you crying? Because you're being mean to me. No, I don't think I was mean to you. I simply stated the condition under which I would make a song. If I don't have any songs, I can't sing. However much I'm the latest state of the art, I can't sing a note without a song. If you didn't want me to make songs for me, you should have just said so at the beginning. Aw, oh, don't cry, Dean. Nobody said anything like that, I just want to see some proof first. It's okay, I can understand how you feel. Thank you for your hospitality, even if it was for a ridiculously short time. Well then. Wait, 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 wait. I hurriedly called after Dean, who's lowered her head and is preparing to leave, in order to stop her from going out while she's still undressed. What? There's no point in my staying here. Me staying here if I can't sing. I feel like I just want a big. I just. Bleh, I feel like I want to give a big sigh and tell her I have had it, but I hold back. I have a feeling this is all an act on Nin's part. It makes me question how truthful she's been up till now. But all right, all right. That's what I end up saying. I brush back my hair with Via, but this is only because it's part of my work. Um, that means making a song for you, of course. <laughs> Thanks! I feel like I got carried away by Din. But upon hearing my answer, Din seemed thrilled. Seeing her smile like that, I suppose it might be alright to be just a little gu gullible. Hmm. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. We saw Naked Din. I think that's a pretty good first episode, wouldn't you say? And, uh, oh my god, things escalated quickly. More than one reason. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this new series. I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe it's the same length as the Hudson and Miku one. But uh, we're going to have to see. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. As always, like, if you enjoy. Subscribe for Rainbow Banner. Keep watching anime. Ciao!